Do you want to grow taller and stronger? In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about how to grow taller, how IGF-1 is the bone growth hormone, and how IGF-1 dictates a huge part of your health and life. So like and subscribe right now. IGF-1 peaks around 15 years old and steadily declines thereafter. Both HGH and IGF-1 contribute to muscle growth, but it's a common misconception that HGH directly stimulates bone growth. Instead, HGH stimulates the production of IGF-1, which actually fosters bone growth. IGF-1 is composed of 70 amino acids, which are folded into a compact three-dimensional architecture, contributing to the functional and regulatory roles of the IGF-1 system. GHRH prompts the pituitary gland to release growth hormone, with the liver being the primary location for producing isoforms. All of these isoforms contribute to the synthesis of IGF-1. Pancreas makes insulin, so you have the pancreas that makes insulin and the liver that makes IGF, right? Well, these two hormones work together back and forth, back and forth. Therefore, enhancing its production in the liver could be an initial step. We do this by an insulin spike, which occurs when you consume food containing carbohydrates, which are then broken down into glucose. This glucose is subsequently absorbed into the bloodstream, causing blood sugar levels to rise. The pancreas releases insulin when blood sugar levels rise. Insulin, produced by pancreatic cells, act on liver cells. Insulin increases in the liver cells, which then causes a spike of IGF-1. How can we spike insulin to convert to IGF-1? Consuming milk and sugar, honey with high HGH levels. High HGH levels could be at the end of a fast or end of a workout, for example. Sugar spikes insulin the most. IGF-1 initiates its actions by interacting with the IGF-1 receptor, which triggers intracellular signaling pathways, involving the PI3K ACT, ras mapk and jack stat pathways. Increasing these three pathways signaling is very important for more IGF-1. So we need to spike insulin, increase cytokines, consume antioxidants, go in the sun and ground, aerobic exercise, probiotic-rich foods, eat the highest quality, lean protein possible. How to increase cytokines, sugar, sleep, hydration, vitamin D, C, zinc, sunlight exposure, stretching. This is all important because during development, IGF-1 promotes growth and differentiation with growth hormone, GH, to create embryonic morphogenesis and postnatal organogenesis. Together, IGF-1 and GH regulate processes such as longitudinal bone growth, skeletal muscle hypertrophy, and visceral organ maturation, influencing the path of growth, development, and homeostasis. The information here is not medical advice. Do this at your own risk. Like and subscribe right now for more content and join my Discord.